Well, the Amber Geiger trial may be over, but both of John's former colleagues want his memory to live on forever. This week, Price Waterhouse Coopers unveiled several permanent keepsakes in its Dallas office as a tribute to John. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers live for us now in downtown Dallas with that story. Brooke. And this is where he lived, but work was really a second home for him. And his colleagues tell us they continue to be inspired by him every day. To them, he was Bo. Bo was a person who never had a bad day, never saw bad in any situation. And an accountant at PricewaterhouseCoopers and an intern before that with the perpetual smile. And I wanted something that would capture that beautiful smile and that personality that he brought to the office every day. And Botham John's likeness now hangs on the building's 20th floor, a welcome sign of sorts in a bustling new office he never got to see. Artists Norman Lee and Shane Albritton strove to create a piece that embodied all of him. You know, they wanted to do a piece that was made out of wood, uh, very symbolic wood is a uh, warm material. Um, they also wanted to capture some of his native St. Lucia. And so you'll notice that the colors are very reminiscent of, you know, a lot of the things that came from St. Lucia. It's also approachable, Moore says, just like Jean was. In fact, the artist had encouraged people that it's something that you can touch and that people should touch it, right? And that warmth it has in it. The portrait isn't the only tribute to Jean here. Just one day after his death, a colleague requested that the building's new design experience center be named for him. In this room is where we're going to work together to make a difference with our clients and our people. So I think it's just very you know, significant, the fact that Bo made such a difference, and that's what we're trying to replicate in this room. It's just pretty amazing what somebody can do in such a short period of time and make such an impact. And PwC has raised more than $600,000 in scholarship funds for Jean's alma mater. Four students received their first scholarship just last month. Live in Dallas, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.